Hi Robins. So today we're looking at Dublin numbers, but let's warm our brains up first and see what numbers we can read. So I have got some number flashcards here. When I hold them up, I'd like you to tell me the number. Are you ready? Let's see if I've got the right row first. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. What did you see that? 20. Well done, children. Right then, those numbers we will use today. But what I want to look at is Dublin. Do we know what Dublin means? No, if it's a double, we're going to put two numbers the same together. OK, and I've got some words behind me of what we'll be doing today. So I've got doubling and double. And then they're the same as add. And how many we have all together? So were these two words we've already heard of? But doubling and double are words that we're going to be learning today. OK, so to make double, it's two numbers that are the same. So if I had two cotton wheels, which I've got here, and I've put them in front of the board here, one, two, and I want to double that number, I'm going to add two more, one, two. So I have two add another two. So two add two. How many do I have all together? Should we count them? One, two, three, four. So double two is four. Well done, John. Double two is four. Should we try another one? So if I want to get three cotton wheels now. So I'm going to get one, two, three, and I want to double it. What do I need to do? I need to get another three. Well done, because we're adding the same number on. We're doubling the number. So I have three there. So three, and I want to get three more because we're doubling it. And I'm going to get these in a different colour so we can see. And another three. So I have three red and three blue. And we have doubled that number. So three add three. So double three is how many altogether? Should we count? One, two, three, four, five, six. So double three is six. Well done. Oh, let's try another number. I'd like to get five items now. So if you want to join in at home, pause the video now and get some Lego or some blocks for you to join in and then join us back. So pause the video now and get some things which we can count. Have you got them all? Fantastic. So we said we're going to double the number five now. OK, so I'm going to get five things. So one, two, three. Oops. Four, five. I have five. Five cotton wheels here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I have five cotton wheels and I want to double it. So what do I need to do if I want to double it? I need to add another five. Well done. So I'm going to get five more. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five more there and I'm going to put them on here in front of the board so we can see them. OK, so we know if I move this a bit now because they've all run off, haven't they? Move them over a little bit. So we have five blue and we now have five red because we're doubling the number five. Well done. And to get the answer, we want to look at how many we've got all together now. So we're looking at five add five. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So double five is ten. Well done. Now we can write this in different ways. We could write the word double. Double five equals ten. And I could write that underneath now, children. I could have a go for you. So double five. equals 10 or I could write it as a number sentence couldn't I which would be 5 add 5 equals 10 with our doubling it is important that we remember that when we double we're adding the same number so if this first number is 5 we're going to add another 5 because we're doubling it if I start with 4 What's the other numbers going to be? Four, add four. Well done. Shall we try that one together? So I've got four here and four there. Do you want to count them to make sure? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So double four or four add four. So double four all together. So we've used all these words now. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So double four is eight. Well done. Right, Robins, what I'd like you to do now is with your equipment that you've got at home, whether you're using Lego or whether you're using pencils or crayons, you can use whatever you like. I'd like you to have a go at doubling. So choose a number. So maybe start between one and five. Then if you're really confident, we could go higher. And maybe you could try seven add seven, double seven. And you could try those up to 10. And can you find the answers? Now I want you to do it practically and calling out the numbers. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can have a go at writing a number sentence like I have down here. So five add five or four add four. And you can write the number sentence and tell me the answer. I would love to see what you've been doing, so please send it to me on Dojo. But before we go, shall we try a higher number? Shall we try eight add eight? We try doubling eight. So I've got my cotton mills here. OK, and I don't think I've got the same in one colour, so we're going to have to be really clever with this now. So I have four here. OK, five, six, seven, eight. So that's one group of eight. I now need another group of eight well done so let's have a look one two three four five six seven and eight so it's the same on both sides isn't it eight add eight dear me that's a lot of counting are you ready let's find out what double eight is let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So double eight is sixteen. Well done, children. And how would I write that as a number sentence? Eight add eight. Brilliant. I can't wait to see all your learning. Please send it to me and I'll see you soon. Bye now.